So, Judge, you know, the big discussion today is whether or not it's appropriate to bring, uh, you know, your sort of your culture, your sex, your uh, cultural identity into the process of judging. Uh, whether justice, in essence, should be blind, as the, the statue is standing outside of the Supreme Court. Well, having been a judge for over 20 years, I have to say that I think every judge brings his or her background into the application of the law to a certain extent. The main thing is that you follow the rule of law at the end of the day. That does not mean that you're not influenced by your own gender, uh, your own background experiences. And I think that's exactly what President Obama wanted. But there's no reason to believe that, that soon-to-be Justice Sotomayor won't follow the law. And as you point out, you know, there was so much said about Sandra Day O'Connor when she came in about her own background and, you know, sort of her cow, cowgirl upbringing and what that meant to her and who she was as a person. Uh, but there's been a lot of focus on a couple of comments that, that Sotomayor has said, and one of them was that she felt that a Latina woman could make a better judgment uh, than a white male. And I want to play something that's getting a lot of uh, controversial attention right now. It's a, a little bit of uh, Rush Limbaugh's show from earlier today, and I just want to get both of your thoughts on it. Can we play that? Court of Appeals is where policy is made. So here you have a racist. You might, you might want to soften that, and you might want to say a reverse racist. And the libs, of course, say the minorities cannot be racists because they don't have the power to implement their racism. Well, those days are gone because ra reverse racists certainly do have the power to implement their power. Obama is the greatest living example of a reverse racist, and now he's appointed one. You getting this, AP? Sonia Sotomayor to the U.S. Supreme Court. All right, who first? Uh, Leslie, your thoughts on that? I say, well, Rush Limbaugh to me is the racist involved, not Son Sonia Sotomayor. Why? He is the most prejudiced person I've ever heard. That's my own perspective. I, there is absolutely no reason to believe that the uh, soon to be Justice Sotomayor is in any way a racist. The no, fact but I think, that, but let me just, well, she, just she jump in for one so, second, because the question is I think it is based in part on that comment. You know, when you say, you know, as a Latino woman, I would make a better judgment than a white male, I make a better judgment than a white white male. If you reversed that, if a white male came out and said, as a white man, I am capable of making a better well, judgment than all, a Latino woman. So when you judge it on that merit, well, you is that a racist you statement? Have, you're taking the statement out of context. You have to see when she says it. If she's judging a case in which being a Latina woman is relevant, then her comment, although perhaps slightly injudicious, is understandable. So when you pluck anybody's statement, which I certainly have seen happen many times okay. uh, in many situations, you really don't get it in but proper is it a wise, perspective. Is it a wise thing to say as a judge? Judge, you always opinion. say things that you regret because uh, you're in the moment. Uh, you may be emotional about certain issues, and she certainly had a lot of struggles as a Latina woman from a, uh, a very difficult background. Yeah. Uh, she was brought up in a housing project. She made every goal herself with the help of her mother, and uh, and I'm sure she did not mean it in the racist way that I think Rush Limbaugh is trying to interpret it. Larry, weigh in for me on the, on this. Well, I would weigh in this way. That's what the confirmation process is for. It's a searing process, as any uh, current justice or former justice will tell you. And everybody has a say. Believe me, this will be a part of the hearings. Uh, the case in Connecticut involving reverse discrimination, that's bound to be discussed a great deal during the hearings. Uh, lots of other cases that uh, Judge Sotomayor has been on and made decisions concerning, that's going to be a part of the hearings. So people will learn a lot. And also, it's important to remember, and justices have commented on this, because the hearings are searing, they learn things too. They may learn what not to say in the future or to be a little bit more discreet in how they, they put things publicly. You make a great point, and I think, you know, that's one of the great things about this country. When you watch this process, you know, you, you, these people and their, their take on the law is fleshed out. Now, you know, it gets very political, and we all know that. Uh, but I just want to get a quick thought from you, Judge, on this firefighter case, because I find it really interesting. And it is a case, you know, of, of accused reverse discrimination, where these white oh. firefighters said, we passed the test, we should have gotten the raise. And then they just threw out all the results because it didn't come out the way they wanted it well, to Well, I don't out. think it's that simple, but the U.S. Supreme Court's going to wait in on it supposedly very soon. The only thing that I would like to have known is more about what Justice Sotomayor's thinking was, because mm -hmm. it was but simply a one-paragraph decision. Uh, short, and uh, until the constitutional issues are addressed, mm -hmm. we don't really know whether her decision was correct or not. But we will get the ultimate ruling soon. And no doubt, uh, yeah.
Yeah, uh, and, no doubt and we're going to hear a lot about it in the confirmation well. process as well. Uh, fascinating day and uh, lots of great legal debates out there. Larry Sabato, thanks for your political take on all of this. And Judge, thank you very much for being here today nice as well. Trace.